Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Everyone Wants Roman Numerals in Game Dev Tycoon. All right, let's make our engine. Now, this is not the most advanced engine in the world, but this is the first engine that has the 3D V6 in it, so it's going to be cutting edge, essentially. Uh, it's also going to require more resources when we're making our game, so we've got to make sure that the game either has plus plus or plus 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 for graphics, or else we're not supposed to stick this in, because it's just too fucking difficult to fit. Uh, that's what she said. Unless we research AAA games, then it'll always fit. Anywho, we have $200 million. I think once this engine's done, we might be making a console. It's possible. Ah, a large booth, of course. Oh man, look at all those freaking tech points. Jeez, that's a lot of tech points. Here, have a boost. Essentially what the boost does is it makes them give larger numbers when they're giving points. Larger design numbers and larger tech numbers. Always good. Let's hope we can get some more sales out of this piece of crap game. I mean, it's it's selling okay. 2.7 million in sales is not bad. But uh, the total number of money it's bringing in is very low, unfortunately. Yeah, that, that is the boost from G3. Not so impressive, that boost. Oh well. Alright, Beggit Cube 6 is complete. Uh, we can actually do some more research. Uh, dun, 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 dun. What was thin? I can't remember. I should have really written down what was thin so we know what to go for. I know AI was thin, but there's no AI options at all. Uh, skill trees would be nice. We have a lot of engine options already. Uh, we do want to get orchestral soundtrack. We need all of these things. Um, but before we do that, why don't we go ahead and get our game report. Yep. And you can do some research, George. Why don't you research... Uh, orchestral soundtrack. And you guys can do some... No, no, no. Contract work. We actually got a lot of research points out of doing that engine, which is great. But let's go ahead and make a console. So this is the R&D lab. This is where we make consoles. Amazing. Of course, it has a budget. Uh, Twitch chat can't see the budget, but I'll set it to like a million bucks, maybe even three million bucks a month. And we need to develop a console. These are very expensive. And there's a few different kinds of consoles we can make. We can make the orange one, the blue one, the white one, the green one, the black one, or the gray one. And quality assurance budget is going to be pretty good. Probably put around 20. Make sure it's good. That way it won't cost us. The quality assurance budget means when you're building the console, how much time and how much money will you spend making sure that it's going to be reliable. You know, no red ring of death, right? That's important. Uh, the more reliable it is, the less the less console repairs you'll be doing all the time. When you release a console, you have to repair it all the time because people will send you broken consoles or whatever. The Smokes Cube. The Craigasm. Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man. <laughs> uh, is that going to fit? Wacky Waving In... Waving In... Oh, it doesn't even fit. It stops right there. Wacky waving in. It's a very small. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Only 16 characters for the name. The Shen Box. The Vox Box. The PC Console. The Shen Box 720. The Shen I, I think we could do the Shen Box. I think that works. The Shen Box. We'll call it the, uh, the Shen Box... 3 3D V the V6 so that we know which graphics it has right no oh, oh I know the baguette cube 6 we'll call it the baguette cube 6 so that we know that it uses the baguette cube 6 engine excellence do you want to do the green one let's do the green one why not <laughs> uh, and I think we'll put quality assurance on max do I want to do it on max it means less repairs. Nah, I think 20 million is probably... Well, no, fuck. Just do it on max. 
Okay, uh, 3D V6, of course. Cost 35 million just for that. Multiplayer video playback. Look at all the cost going up. Yep, achievements, the cost goes up, cost goes up. Surround sound with soundtrack. Ooh, multiplayer, basic physics, video playback, save to cloud. And we won't need stereo sound because we have surround sound. There you go. So it's going to cost us 99 million to produce this thing, but we also have to actually build it, which takes more time. Uh, but yeah, 3D V6, multiplayer. Do we want 3D V5? Oh, you can't have both. You can't have both. Okay, well, 3D V6 it is. Let's do it. Oh, you want, you want the name to be VI? Oh, God, you guys are fucking terrible. No, I refuse to have the name be VI here because it's a very short number of characters that we can actually use. Let's do it. We're going to go bankrupt. Well, it's only half of our money. Uh, we might go bankrupt. We'll see. Okay, welcome to our very own hardware lab. This is the place where we create our own game console. Before we start, make sure you have a lot of cash saved up. Well, we just spent half of our money. And let's fund it. Fund it. Fund it. We'll put out one and a half million a month. And now let's make another game. Oh, you're still working. Okay, well, work faster. And we can always make another console later. Okay, game report is in. And we made $45 million off Arrow to the Knee. But we need to make a new game soon. I just want to get all these contracts out of the way. There we go. Because this will give us a max amount. Oh, wow. Fucking space shuttle. Yeah, okay. R&D lab, what do you guys want to do? MMOs, fuck yeah. Research them MMOs. Yes, yes, yes. Research. Oh, we can do some more shit. Uh, storytelling, online play, multi -plat. We'll do online play. Alright, time for a new game. What kind of a game do we want to make? What kind of a game do we want to make? Let's make something that has really, 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 really high importance on graphics so that we can try out our new 3D V6. So, maybe... Let's see, what's got really high graphics... Uh, dun, 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 dun. Casual game has really high graphics. Action games have high graphics. Simulation games. Let's do an action game. So what kind of an action game do we want? Let's do a shoot 'em up. A mature shoot 'em up game. We can now use the new consoles, the Mbox One, which is oh, it's not good for mature. Okay, it's good for everyone then. We'll do an everyone shoot 'em up game for the Mbox One. Yep. Mbox One and PS4 are very good for action. The PC is also pretty good for action, so that's fine. We'll do those. And what kind of a category should we do? A music action shoot 'em up? No. Um, Sci-fi, a space shoot 'em up. A sports shoot 'em up. A zombie shoot 'em up? No, because that's not good for everybody. Damn it! Zombies are only good for mature audiences. That sucks. Call of Shooty. <laughs> uh, cyberpunk. Alternate History. Aliens. Airplane. Dungeon. Cyberpunk. Fantasy. Fantasy! We can do a fantasy action game. Let's do it. Do we have any fantasy action games that we could sequel? Probably not. Fantasy. 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 Fantasy, no. Fashion, hunting, fantasy RPG, the itch down under. Uh, sure. Let's let's sequel Scratcher 2. I don't even remember what the hell the original one was. F 
Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, what was that? 9.25? Oh, zombies. But yeah, that's for mature audiences. We can't do that right now. Game dev, school, vampire action, fantasy RPG. Oh, we have a vampire action game? We do. Oh, yeah. Let's do our Suarez. Yes. We will sequel Suarez. It will happen. All right. Let's find the most recent Suarez. Suarez? Suarez? Does that suck it? No, that's different. Hunting action. Scratcher 2. Oh, looks like that was the most recent one. Okay. Vampire action. There it is. On the 3D... On the 3D V6. Large game for everyone. Vampire action on the PC. The PS4 and the Mbox One. Each one of these cost a million dollars for the license. But we'll be making games for them frequently, I hope. Alright, what do we call it? Uh, make sequel for the first game we ever made. We've already done that. We've already sequeled our first game. Suarez Red Barcelona. <laughs> Suarez 3. Red Barcelona. Why Barcelona? Is it because there's a little bit of uh, separatist feel over there? Catalonia? Liverpool? Blood Ball? Garlic Pants? What? Still better than Twilight. Uh, a new dental prosthesis. Quest for pro, quest for Italian blood. The bite with a vengeance. The Mbox One looks like an old telephone. No, that's the that's the motion sensor on top of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you watching this on potato quality? Please, at least watch it on 720. I'm streaming at 1080. Don't watch it on potato quality. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. And it's not Suarez 2. We've made three. This is our third Suarez game. We, we just didn't call the last one Suarez 2. Anyway, let's do this. Red Barcelona. Let's make it happen. Uh, large game for everybody. Vampire action. Wait, vampire is good for everybody, right? Vampire is good for everybody. Yes, it is. Let's do it. PC, Mbox One, PS4, Baguette Cube 6. Do it. Very expensive game to make, Jesus. Okay, what do we have? Action is max, almost max, almost min. Max, almost max, almost min, like so. So we're not gonna be able to fit a whole lot of story and quests in there. Certainly not gonna be able to fit the full motion video, but maybe we can do linear story. Yeah, there we go. Linear story and cutscenes, that's fine. Uh, engine, can we fit video playback? Yes. Mod support? No. Um... Okay, well, I guess we get rid of mod support. And gameplay, everything fits. We need some more gameplay upgrades. We, we've done a lot of games recently where it's just everything fits and there's nothing else to shove in there. So we have an engine specialist, George. He's doing all the work he can. Who's going to do our gameplay? I guess Lori can do it. That's fine. Gameplay is mostly design. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. She's good at design. 80 design and 20. Okay. And is dialogue important? No, dialogue is not important. Well, then why don't we get Eric on that? There you go. Yeah, he'll do a good job there. And story and quest is going to be Baguette or anyone else. Yeah, Baguette can do that. Okay, next. So George, Eric, and Baguette. Games with new topics. Oh, well, Vampire is not a new topic, but maybe we can do some research to get a new topic. We'll see. We probably won't be able to get a game out while that's still popular, though, unfortunately. Are we going to get a uh, G3 during this game? I hope so. Ah, yes. Talk to me about my action game. Uh, gameplay or dialogues? Gameplay. Yes. Dialogues are not important at all for action games. Get down! Get down again! Wow, this, this phases, they take for fucking ever. I think I'm going to up the funding on this, because we can afford it, but I can't move it right now. Alright, who's doing the next phase? Action. Absolute minimum on dialogues. And then almost max and max. There you go. 
So how much of this shit can we fit? We can do better dialogues, but that's it. We can't even fit dialogue tree. That's disappointing, but so be it. Better dialogues is all we can get. Level design. Can we get that in there? No. Hmm. We can almost do the dynamic environment. We can get rid of the level editor. There you go. We'll get rid of the level editor. We'll have dynamic environment. That works. Uh, we could possibly get the no loading screens, but I think we have to do everything. I don't know. We can do... Hmm. Yeah, we can't do the no loading screens unless we don't want dynamic environment. I, I like the dynamic environment, really. Let's do that. Oh, shit. 92. Uh, yeah, screw it. There. And the AI, everything fits for that, no problem. So who's doing... Well, obviously, Bryson's our level design specialist. And Eric is our dialogue specialist. And do we have an AI specialist? No. But we'll get an AI specialist when this is done. Uh, yes, that should be fine. Caesar, okay. Lori and Rena are going to do the last phase together. And Baguette can help. Excellent. So Eric, Bryson, and Caesar are going to get boost. Hmm. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games, and surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. They seemed to quite enjoy the experience, in fact. Anyway, I have some products that need advertising. What? What is this? My marketing boys tell me that making you this offer is a bad idea, but that's exactly why I want it. I'll pay you 200k to place some fine red painted exploding barrels in one of your games. What do you say? What the hell is this? Does Twitch chat know? Put the red barrels in an action game and you'll get an achievement. Don't do it, don't do it, no, don't do it. Okay, we just won't do it then. I don't care about achievements. Alright, up the funding. Arr. And can we please boost Caesar, Bryson, and. Oh. And Eric. But Eric's busy. I want to boost you, Eric. Eric, no! There we go. And I will throw a little hype because apparently it looks like G3 is not coming, unfortunately. Kind of mistimed our game here for G3. Oh well. A little more hype. Alright, next phase is medium, max, almost max. Alright, medium. Oh shit, look at that. We're not even able to fit all the graphics. We'll get most of it though. That's fine. Can we get surround sound? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Interesting. World design can suffer a little bit. Get rid of the virtual economy. Uh, yeah, realistic weather. As much as I would like all this stuff, this game doesn't focus on any of that, so it doesn't really help us. In fact, there we go. We just maxed out graphics, and we're going to get all the design we want. Excellent. Okay, do we have a sound specialist? No. Do we have... Oh, Eric can't do that. There you go. Okay, that looks good. Unless Rena wants to do this. No, Rena does not want to do that. Okay. Uh, oh, we can have you do it. Oh, but then Lori's not doing anything. All right, so boost Rena and Lori. Getting our surround sound and soundtrack. And 3DV6. Oh, shit, Rena. Rena! There. Boost, Baguette, Rena, and Lori. Boost. Fuck you, game. Boost. Why am I getting one FPS? What the shit? There we go. <laughs> Large boost. Oh, we are going to get G3. Cool. Please? Please boost. Game, one FPS. Not cool. What the fuck? 
Is there just too many bubbles? Bubbles, OP, please nerf. Oh, people are getting stressed out. Good thing the game's almost done. Oh, we did get it in. G3 just barely in time. It's going to be a ton of hype for this game. 1.4 million visitors. Nice. Number one booth, of course. All right, get those bugs out. 231 bugs. No sweat. No sweat. 231 bugs. Jesus. I'm going to slurp my coffee because that's a lot of bugs. Mm. Come on, finish the bugs, then you can all have a nice long vacation. Alright, the bugs are gone. We set a record for tech, which is nice. And we leveled up our 3D V6 graphics. Great. Alright, so first things first. Oh shit, the reviews are in. Alright, what do you guys think? Let's see. 9.5, 9.75, 9.75, 9.0, 8.0, negative 3. Dogsman, get out of here with your negative 3. Uh, 8.0, 9.25, 9.50. You guys are all really optimistic about the scores. I like that. Uh, I hope you're right. 6.75. DDA more. That's probably a more realistic view. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Well, it's not a perfect 10, but it is a 9.75. All right, who, who got the 9.75? Who guessed it first? Uh, looks like John McPineapple was the first to guess 9.75. Nice. John McPineapple, you're going to make us a whole boatload of money. I appreciate your optimism because it really fucking worked out. Look at that. All right, everyone gets a break. Already sold 1.2 million in the first week. Jesus Christ. 1.7 million in the first week. Number one game in the world. That's what happens when you have a new game engine with new graphics. Everyone's like, holy shit, that maze balls. Paid Early Access Co. has recently released a sequel to their new to their game Suarez First Thirst. The newest game in the series, titled Suarez 3 Red Barcelona, was met with outstanding responses. Critics praised Suarez 3 Red Barcelona had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. And holy shit, the sales. We're going to pass 10 million in sales on that game. 5 million in sales. Oh my god. Paid Early Access Co. surprises us again with a very enjoyable game. The computer-controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I caught myself talking to them at times. Wow. Andrew McNamara, you sound very lonely. <laughs> uh, you're talking to the characters in a video game. Jesus. 10 million! We did it! We did it! This game truly deserves to be called AAA, but we didn't make a AAA game. Anyway, I'm going to up the funding on this, because why not? We have money coming out of our balls. And everyone just came back from vacation, so I think we need to... Well, we need some more research, actually, before we do anything crazy. We need to make a new engine with all this good stuff in it. So let's research voiceovers, or advanced body language, and research... Moral choices, sure. And you guys can do some more work. Did I say you could relax? Hell no. Oh my god, this sails on that game. A company by the name of Rise VR developed a virtual reality headset which promises to finally start the path towards through three towards true 3D immersion. The new headset called Visorius looks like a pair of giant ski goggles and provides a large field of vision as well as near-perfect motion tracking. First test, some players feeling a little motion sick, but with the right game, this technology surely can develop a new level of immersion. Yep. Visorius support. Well, we'll do that. 
Azoria support costs 100 research points. We ain't got that. All right, well, we'll have it soon enough. Movies, bingo. Three weeks for that many points. We're going to fail it, but I don't care. We get the research. That's fine. Boss, I think it's time we announce the Shenbox BC6 to the world. Should we go ahead and make a press release? Yeah. I'll get right on it. Nice. All right, well, there's our 100 points. In a surprise announcement today, Paid Early Access Co., a company known for games such as Suarez 3, Red Barcelona, has revealed that they have been working on their very own game console. The console, which is called Shenbox BC6, is said to compete with the high-end consoles from companies like Micronoft and Vony. We're eager to see how much of an impact this new console will have. I'm eager as well. Make a new uh, engine for it when it's ready. In the meantime, get the Vizorius support, because why not? I don't care about failing a contract. I got money coming out my butthole. Why would I care about failing a contract? No, not a publishing deal. Shit. Alright, one more good contract. Yeah, I'll be done soon. One more contract. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, it dropped to number two in the world. Ah, well, whatever. We sold 16.8 million copies. I don't care. Alright, Vistoria support is out. Next game. We need a new game, everybody. Or should we wait for the uh, Shen box to come out? Mm, no. We'll make a new game anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we just did an action game. Let's do something else that relies heavily on graphics, like a simulation game. Simulation game re re relies a ton on graphics. So what would be a good game for a simulation? Something that caters to the everybody audience. Simulation works for PS4 and Mbox One and the PC. It's not perfect, but it does work. Hmm... Okay, what's a good simulation game for the everybody audience? Music! We haven't done a music game in a long time, but no, it's not perfect for everybody. We'll pick something that's perfect for everybody. Racing game. We don't have racing. Sci-fi. Do we have sci-fi? Well, we do have space. We could do that. Or surgery. We don't have surgery. Transport. We don't have that. Virtual pet vocabulary. We don't have any of those. Uh, movies. No, we don't have movies. We have music. Damn it. Hmm. Life game. We don't have life. Hunting. Oh, we can do a hunting simulation game. That's right. We haven't done a hunting game in a long time. Sequel time. Oh, Dick Cheney. Where are you? Where are you, Dick Cheney? Where are you, Dick Cheney? A Dick Cheney Thanksgiving. Well, there you go. Uh, a large game for everybody. Make it a hunting simulation game on the PC, the PS4, and the Mbox One. Game Engine, Baguette Cube 6, of course. We need a name for our Dick Cheney hunting simulation game. Mm. Make it EU4 knockoff? We've, we've made Paradox games before. Space janitor. <laughs> Dick Cheney's hunt for love. A very dicky Christmas. Eh. Christmas with Dick. Oh, God. <laughs> Dick Cheney 3. This is going to hurt. Halliburton reunited. Oh, I like that. Uh, we'll call it DC3. Halliburton hunting vacation. Do it. Oh, oh, I got a better one. Halliburton. Please, arrow keys are not working. Fucking arrow keys don't do shit in this game. Halliburton human hunting. Even better. So it's a hunting simulation on the PC, the PS4, the Mbox One, on the Baguette Cube 6 engine. A large game for everybody. Let's do it. And yes, simulation is perfect for our new game engine, our new graphics engine, because it's really heavily focused on graphics. Great. And the Shenbox is almost out. 
All right. Dun, dun, dun. Simulation. Almost max, max, medium. Almost max, max, medium. Uh, what can we squeeze in now? Well, there's more story and quests, so or there's more funding or more more time allotment for that. So we can probably squeeze in a branching story and advanced cutscenes. Almost. Uh, there we go. Good enough. Engine. Oh shit, that's gonna that's gonna hurt the engine, isn't it? Well, maybe we get rid of the video playback and go to mod support instead. That'll work. I mean, that works, right? Yeah. Gameplay is still maxed out. It's not the best. Uh, it's not the best way to do this, but we do fit a lot of shit in this way. All right. Baguettes and Eric and George. That's probably fine. First phase is yeah, mostly design over here. So that's fine. Yeah, design, design. That works, that works. Okay, do it. George, Eric, and Baguette all get a boost. Oh, the Shen box is almost out. I'm going to lower funding on it because it's almost done. There you go. By the time this game's out, it'll be done. Or even before then, it'll be done. Now, we should get a G3 convention during the gameplay, so we won't need to, we won't need to hype this very much, if at all. Yep, hello, Horse Lime Jenkins. Welcome to Shen Plays. Halliburton is actually a company. Dick Cheney was a former CEO for a vice president. Yeah, uh, he's still involved with them, although a little less so. Uh, minim almost minimum, almost max, max. Almost minimum, almost max, max. Just like this. Can we... Ooh. Dialogues. Can we do anything in there, dialogues? Dialogue tree. That works. Can we get down a little bit? Get down. Get down again. No, we can't. Unless we want to skip out. I think that's okay. 95... That should be okay. AI, every, yeah, there's no more upgrades for the AI, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to be able to fit the level editor, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the people, I think, are pretty optimized for this. Okay, Eric, Bryson, and Caesar. Make sure that's all good. It's all good. Eric, Bryson, and Caesar. You got it. Hey, hey, paid early access co released their game console, Shenbox BC6, today. The console seems to really push the limits of technology and is the most modern console ever to hit the shelves. Looking at the features in Shenbox BC6, it seems to have an extensive list which is a sign, a good sign, and could lead to a wide variety of games becoming available. Great, but we're going to have to make our own games for it as well. The more games we make for it, the more popular it'll become among the people, meaning it'll sell even better, or even more copies. First tests indicate that Shenbox BC6 build quality is excellent and will likely run for decades without issues. Decades? Who the hell keeps a console that long? I don't know. Good. And look at this, we're actually selling our console over here now. Look at this, we sold 250,000 copies already. You now, your, your very own game console is now on the market. Game consoles are complex machines, and when you sell a lot of them, it is only natural that some of them will need to be repaired. So that's what this little thing is over here. It'll show happy customers versus unhappy customers. Uh, we want to keep them as happy as possible. That encourages people to keep buying our console. The way the happy customer versus unhappy customer versus unhappy customer is uh, calculated is based on console repairs. Consoles that need repairs get fixed uh, on time every week. Will make happy customers. If you delay their repairs, like if you if you fix nine out of ten consoles and one of them doesn't get fixed that week, that's an unhappy face. So we need to make sure we fix all the consoles every week. That's a certain amount of funding that we have to keep in the in the hardware lab to repair all the consoles every week. While your console is on sale, your hardware team will have to work off maintenance points. Depending on the uh, quality of the console and how many you sell, these points vary from week to week. Yep. Chat is covering it. Okay. Move the chat box. Okay. Well, I can't really move the chat box anywhere, so I'm just going to turn off the chat box. There you go. Actually, it's probably going to be good in the bottom corner. Let's go to the bottom corner. Uh, the bottom left corner. Bottom, 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 bottom. Bingo. All right. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. We released our console, and it's already selling like hotcakes. Next game we make after uh, Halliburton Human Hunting is definitely going to be for our console. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.